stands like, especially just to take that three when you really didn't need a three. You could have got a two, and then um, I don't know. I don't remember if it was game six or game five when he just took over. Yeah. And uh, matter of fact, it was like the last three to four when he took over. And he was going down, falling, dribbling, fade away. He's going to the hole off the off the glass. This is like, wow. So I mean, I don't feel like LeBron. Don't get me wrong, LeBron deserved the MVP, but I just don't think he should have had the unanimous. I don't either, uh, cause I'm I'm a critic, man. I'm, for lack of a better word, sometimes I can be a hater, and I'm okay with that. Anybody who say they ain't got a little bit of hater in them is a fucking liar, or they just flat out missing out on life. Hating is fun sometimes. <laughs> it's underrated. When people say you a hater, you should just be like, okay, and then you should just go on about your business. I hate for fun. Like I don't hate on genuine accomplishments or. Like to destroy people, but it's fun trolling. And I, I was a Kyrie troll, as I am LeBron. And if LeBron don't get to the finals again, I'm gonna troll him again. Hopefully, he has an afro so I can figure out his hair keep growing and patches. <laughs> but Kyrie, man, I was like the ultimate Kyrie fucking hater. Like I was a fan of his ball handling skills and his talent. And I would also often say he's no he's not a John Wall. Like the only thing people could say he was doing at a point was scoring occasionally and handling the ball in the most magnificent park ways. This fucking playoff series changed my whole perception of Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is a ball player. He handles the ball, he runs. The only thing I don't like is his Lack of assists, but that's just not his game. He's not your distribution uh, point guard. But when it comes to everything else, he scores in an array of ways. Yeah. He reminds me of a manager, Kobe Bryant, his ability to sw- score around the basket in different ways. Right. He has some of the most amazing shots that I've ever seen, and I've been watching basketball for a long time. Um, and what was more impressive than his offense Cause he's always also he's always been an offensive juggernaut. Was his defense, defense his yeah. on ball defense? He beat Steph Curry from pillar to post on offense and defense. Right. And being that he faced a bigger challenge than LeBron did, far as like who was he had to guard or who he was matched up against, I think that he should have got none less than the um, co MVP. At most, he should have got full MVP. And it just, like, I I mean, I'm not against LeBron having a share of it, but unanimous, that's kind of gross. It makes me want to puke. But it is what it is, man. And, like, on anything else, I'm happy for LeBron in the sense that he he went home and got a ring. Cleveland hadn't had a ring since. um, 64. Yeah, whatever. And I don't even know because I wasn't there. But, <laughs> but, like, it's impressive, man. Anybody who tried to downplay this accomplishment is a fucking more hater than I am. Man, anything you want to say on that, man? Anything you want to close on? Uh, not Okay, uh, well, to end that, well, how you feel about the draft? Oh, the draft. Yeah. First off, we're going to take this quick break. Okay. But we're going to talk about the draft. We're going to talk about some shit that's going on with Kyrie Irving. Okay. Stress this game out, yeah, get my yeah, money yeah. long this, this, this might get right underneath your fucking skin Just like poison ivy, watch my hustle spread Two places at one time like I got Siamese twins Niggas act like bitches just like wife is friends Wipe me down, I'm cleaner than some bath Why the hate and get your ass shot up Hoes gon' get your ass caught up Y'all gon' get these balls to swallow Making my own path to follow I'm concerned with Addy Dollars That's one easy math problem Daddy once told me these niggas phony like pony type niggas Ride on your back if you let them Pinch out your package, I'd rather Put that OG in a blunt Tell your OG you a bump Let's say I'm raising the bar Hard like that drink in your cup I just been having the ball I'm thinking about buying the tux can't say I'm having it all, but I'm gon' get more than enough Put play it back on the phone, bro, this shit sweeter and long Let's just let everything go, this what they need to be on This ain't just no song, this what I be on This ain't just no song, this what I, I be, what I be on. on Can't do well where haters know why I don't control Get my money long This this shit's 
shit that get you hype, get you tight. Game night, like a room, zoned out. Shit you like, playing back to back to get your mind right. Limelight, highlights, jumping out the gym in my Nike flights. Trying to get the last shot, that's what I be on. Fuck that laying up shit, I'm a boss player, dog. You stepping out of bounds, out of town, trying to win it on the road. You playing with five fouls, dog. Ball hog and air ball, about to take a loss. I drive it straight to the paint, cross over, and I shake them off. Behind the back, pass, straight cash, and I hand it off. Got 24 on my back from the home of Kojak and Zach Randolph. Referees on my team, I'm hot king the dream. You come and weak, feel the agony at the feet when I got home court advantage and the front row seat. Every season, 82 and 0. That's what I be on. This ain't just no song, this what I be on. This ain't just no song, this what I be on. Hang around with haters, no, I don't condone. Stretch the game out, get my money long. I never wanted to be a doctor when I was little. I didn't know what I wanted to be. Fireman. Gave that up. Saw a motherfucker burn up. <laughs> I didn't want to do anything but stay out of the mortuary. That's all I wanted to do. Because that death was a bitch. You know, people at funerals, man, especially now. I went home for a funeral about four weeks ago, man, and, and I'm a big nigga in Peoria. Well, y'all know it, and I love it. But not at a funeral, Jack. They'd be crying and shit. Oh, Lord, he's gone. He's gone. We sure did love you, Aunt Johnny Carson. <laughs> <laughs> That's some hell of a shit to sit through. <laughs> yeah. And everybody be crying and shit. My grandmother used to argue about shit, though. If you die in my family and ain't married, you're in trouble. Bitch, don't tell me. The man had $1,500 in the shoebox, motherfucker. You better get it. That's right, and I want that ring because it belonged to my brother Bill. <laughs> Preacher was great, too. Reverend Hightower at the funeral. Had to start. You know, to each of us, some death must come. <laughs> no life lingers too many tribunal moments. It is all destined in the future of the stars of the universe. <laughs> the live that you live is a life of love and justice. <laughs> and each eternity, the Holy Mother and Father crawl out from out the earth <laughs> and bring forth a witness. Salvation is eternal process. will continue. <laughs> now, if you were to ask this dear friend, would he like to rise from his appointed destiny? His words must be, you right, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to die. I want to disappear at sea. Because motherfuckers don't know if you're dead or not. You might live. They don't know. <laughs> Guess not, huh? <laughs> Everybody else is hoping the same thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. Die at sea. <laughs> It'd be overcrowded then. You ain't going to get a chance. Then. I wouldn't like to go to heaven. Can you imagine being in heaven playing a harp? Sitting on a cloud, eight billion motherfuckers practicing. <laughs> That's a terrible sound. Yeah. No, gentlemen, please, from the top. <laughs> you three million angels in the back, lay out. Everybody in hell be listening to Miles and shit. Yeah, we back. That's the um, all-time great Richard Pryor. Me and Steve was just talking about him. Um, but anyway, we was just talking about the playoffs, and I want to talk about something that is right up that alley. Uh, there's a rumor going on about Kyrie Irving. I usually don't get into the salacious shit, the gossipy, gossipy shit, but I ain't got nothing else to do tonight. Um... They said that this nigga threw a party on a yacht. And I'm going to ask you this, Steve, man. I'm going to ask you how you feel about this. They said that he um, he threw it and he only had 
the original Red Bones on his yacht. And when I say original Red Bones, I mean the strong Nubian white sisters. You couldn't be there if your melanin was popping. So I want to ask you, man, how, how does that make you feel? Do you, do you think he should have to answer for his his uh his taste or what he like on his yacht that he was shooting uh, free throws in the gym for? <laughs> no. That's just perfect. So, I mean, to each his own. If he don't like black chicks, he don't like black chicks. You don't, so you don't feel like that's that's kind of asshole backwards on his part, being that he's a color. Uh, hard to say. Don't know what dealt with him like. Like, hold on, hold on. Now wait a minute. <laughs> what the fuck could he have went through to exclusively <laughs> say <laughs> fuck <laughs> them jig bitches? <laughs> he could have been dealing with some ratchet ass gold digging. Not to say that, that the white girls in the, uh, don't do that too, but he probably. Right. It's just. I mean, if that's what he want, that's what he want. This is a, it's a big old uproar though. Like they they highly upset about it, and it, and it's I'm I'm kind of like I don't know how I feel about it. Like I feel strange about black men who date exclusively outside their race. It's like it's it's weird to me. Like what what did you see <laughs> to make you be like I can't do this? Like did you walk in and your mama taking out her weave and you seeing the struggle <laughs> in her face? Did you? Did you argue with your sisters a bunch of times and shit and they just wouldn't stop arguing when you quit and they just kept on? Or was your first girlfriend just on your nerve? What, what the fuck pushed you away, Kyrie? If you listen to Kyrie, you can call in the numbers and this is the show. That's if you listen to Kyrie. His feelings got hurt by a black girl. I don't, I mean, I don't see it. I mean, I got a preference in females that I like, but if I'm going to throw a party, all is welcome. That's, that's, my thing, everybody could have been welcome, and he just talked to the ones he liked. But, I mean, maybe his last shot, he had all black girls on there, and they sank his boat. <laughs> I don't know. Man, you know what? That was some bright <laughs> shit. <laughs> they sank his boat, so he was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> so, like, it's hard for me, man. Like, personally, I couldn't imagine just, just the type of person I am. I couldn't imagine just sitting around, and I look around, don't see Nothing but white girls. Like, it's just, like, it's not even, like, people don't understand, like, it's the difference between preference and being racial. Everybody got their preference if, what I don't like about it is if, let's say, for instance, Kevin Love had a boat party, mm-hmm. and he said, I don't want no black girl in my boat. Black bitches would go crazy. Crazy like a white. Why you don't want no black girl? So... I don't think Kyrie should be crucified for his taste. I think we should laugh at him, but I don't think we should be mad at him because it's all about taste or whatever. And something else, though, man, I'm going to tell you, like, the black girls, they, they rally around some silly shit sometimes. Uh, like, the only time black women, like, genuinely support black men or want to mention them is, like, if you get killed by the police, they'll rally for you. Mm-hmm. Or if they want to annoy you when you're trying to cheat, that's only two. That's only two times black women fuck with you. Like they, they, they want to like put you on a cardboard and walk around and shit. Say bow life matter, right? Or they want to just say who is that bitch? Who is that bitch? Right. Who is that bitch? Why you just with that bitch? Why you looking at that bitch? Why you looking at that bitch? Did you like that bitch picture? Why you don't like my picture? Who is that bitch? Who is that bitch? I hate you, nigga. I hate you. You ain't shit. Your daddy won shit. I hate your mama. Your kids ain't gonna be shit. <laughs> and, and you better pay for them. You can't ever see them again. Hey, man, black women, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. You can't be no weak man and appreciate a black woman at the same time. It's, it's a level of fucking strength you gotta have to deal with a black woman. That's why, that's why I was arguing with people last Sunday about wishing females a happy Father's Day. Yeah. I would never acknowledge a woman. I don't care if, if you raising five kids, ten kids, and you single. They don't understand what it's like to be a, a man. I say happy uh, uh, Mother's Day to you all day, and you do a great job as a single mother. But I never say you doing uh, you playing both parts. No, you playing the part of a single mom. Cause I ain't never seen a bitch stand up and sit down and pee at the same time. It's it just like you asked uh, XO a couple weeks ago about. Uh, uh, you said, I, I could be saying it wrong. You said, what would you tell your son if he he's in class and the teacher called him up to the chalkboard 
and he got a hard on. What's he supposed to do?